Hey guys, we're back. Did you miss us? Because we missed you. Hello, hi. I'm back. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous too though, I must say. Is my hair sitting right? I hope you guys like how I look today. Yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm... I think I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Hello my honeys To all my subscribers, hi, how are you? I hope you're well Happy New Year Happy New Year my darling I'm so excited about 2024 I feel like 2024 has a lot in store for each and every one of us And I'm excited by that If you're new here, hi My name is Mbalinyo Ogant Ombezil Shumi I create content about everything Beauty, fashion, lifestyle And I'm really excited for my comeback on YouTube YouTube because I will be introducing a new niche to my channel which is self-improvement and everything self reinvention so if that sounds like something you're into please go ahead and click the subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and of course Tell me how you feel about my comeback on YouTube. I know a lot of my subscribers have been really unhappy with me and I completely understand why. I have been so unreliable to you guys and I'd like to take this time to apologize to each and every one of you because my channel exists because of you guys and when I don't keep my promises or I don't deliver on my end, it's something that I'm not really proud of and I'd like to take this opportunity to say I'm so sorry I'm really hoping to do better for you guys and to do better for myself because Lord knows if there's one thing Why am I Terry? <laughs> Lord knows if there's one thing that I really really want in my life is for this YouTube channel to work Okay, I need it to work. I need it to be successful. I need it to be a community of great women so yeah i don't want to say too much let's get into the video i feel like i need more class let's get more class let's get some class i can't find any of my glasses um, i'm gonna use this maybelline i think it's called the lift up lift a glass let me see yes it's called the lift a glass right here so cute a little on the pink side than I usually wear but I like it so let's address the elephant in the room where have I been last year in February or beginning of March I don't remember exactly when but I know it was after I posted my last video on this channel and I believe it was a birthday vlog around that time I remember there was a day where I was going through my YouTube channel because I wanted to like fix a couple of things and improve a couple of things I was doing a channel rebrand at the time and I was just going through my channel and I realized I was picking up a lot of things that I didn't like about this channel or things that I didn't like on my channel and most of those things had nothing to do with maybe the camera quality the quality of my videos or the quality of the content that I was putting out although I will admit there is room for improvement in those aspects of my channel but the one thing that bothered me more than anything was the character I came across as on my channel I I really didn't like it I didn't appreciate it I felt like I did not recognize the person that I was anymore um, and I was picking up a lot of habits and a lot of behaviors that I wouldn't necessarily agree with or like um, and that really bothered me I remember there was a time where that day when I was going through my YouTube the I was I saw this video and oh my goodness like thinking about that video makes me cringe till today I remember I was vlogging and I was talking to you guys and I got a text 
on my phone and I remember it was Checkers telling me that they're giving me a hundred rands voucher to go spend at Checkers and oh my goodness my reaction to that text and the way I handled myself in that moment was absolutely despicable I hated the way I handled myself I said that for a second I was like who is this girl I was rude I was ungrateful I was Okay, I was disgusting. Um, and you know, I just told myself, this is definitely not going to be the person that I'm going to be. This is definitely not going to be me. I'm, no, I'm not gonna live like my life like, I'm not going to live my life as an ungrateful, sad person. That's not me, that's never been me. That, you know, I, I told myself I need to put this stop I started really thinking and looking deeper into the things that I wasn't liking in my channel and that forced me into doing a life audit which I'm really really glad I did because the moment I did a life audit that's when I was able to name not name and shame I was saying name and shame that's when I was able to name and recognize exactly what it is that I was suffering from looking at the things that were happening in my life I was in debt. I can't believe this is the same dress I'm wearing. I was overweight. I did not like how I looked whatsoever. And I think that came a lot from how I was taking care of myself. Although at the time it really seemed like I was doing my best and I was really trying the best that I can to put myself in the best situation. It just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. Going to the gym once in two weeks wasn't cutting it anymore realizing how much i disliked the way i looked i disliked the way i felt and the way i felt in everything the way i felt in pictures the way i felt in my videos the way i felt in clothes the way i felt in makeup looks there was just nothing that there was just nothing about me that I liked at the time, apart from the fact that I'm me. I mean, I love me. I could never dislike me. But the rest of the things that came with being me were definitely habits and characteristics that I wasn't happy to have. Goodness, I was depressed and my anxiety was shooting through the roof. I believe it was generally like my sad girl era. And I'm really, really glad I got to do that life audit because I wouldn't realize, you know, because you're just like, oh, life is hard. Oh my goodness, I can't catch a break. My life is so hard. I don't know why. No, 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 baby. It's because you are in debt. It's because you're not taking care of yourself. It's because you're not prioritizing yourself. And it's because you're not keeping the promises that you're making to yourself. And that was me. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and say my life is perfect but I believe I have had a drastic change compared to the person that I was early last year and yes sometimes I do fall back in fact a lot of the times I do fall back to my old habits but I tell myself that a new day is a, another day to start again a new day is another day to start again i'm not going to stop up until i live the life that i want to live and up until i have the life that i deserve i am not going to stop i'm going to keep going i'm going to keep pushing myself because i know what i deserve i know what god has in store for me and that is nothing but greatness okay nothing but greatness and i remember around that time i sat down and i kind of like manufactured a plan of how I'm going to get myself out of this situation but I think the most important thing that I had to realize at the time is for me to be able to successfully pull myself out of the person that I was becoming or the person that I had become I needed to understand how I got there how is it how did my life get to a point where I'm overweight how did my life get to a point where I am in debt how do I get to a point where I'm sad I'm depressed and I'm you know just unhappy in general and I'm really glad I took a look at those things because then I got to identify the characteristics and the bad habits that were working me closer and closer towards the person that I did not want to be and I mean for instance when it comes to debt I had to look at my spending habits and the financial and monetary decisions that I've made 
for me to get to a point where I'm in debt. I had to look at my eating habits. I had to look at the way that I take care of myself, the things that I put into my body, the things that I don't put into my body for me to understand where and how did it go wrong for me to end up where I am right now. A little backstory. Um, I, I think I'll take this to 2019 and I think that's when everything started for me. Late 2018, early 2019, I remember I was in my saddest girl era. Like, this, I was the saddest I've ever been because, oh my goodness, I was so unhappy. Uh, because I was not in school anymore I had gone back home because I do not have money to further my studies anymore and growing up in the environment that I grew up nobody ever really liked me and my conclusion is because I'm pretty and smart I'm gonna conclude it there but I don't know why but you know when I came back everybody was just like so mean to me and you know there were a lot of rumors about why i came back maybe i went away i wasn't really in school because i was pregnant and you know all these bajab stories and now that i look back they really don't matter all of them they don't matter none of it matters but it did at the time it did at a time and i remember i used to pray to god i'm like god please take me out of this place because this place is not serving me and this place is literally draining the life out of me and the people around this environment are going to suck me dry and take me down with them and I do not want that. And I remember that's all I used to pray for, like God please take me out of here, please take me out of here. And in 2019 God blessed me with a job and uh, although now I look at my job differently, I will not, I'll never look back and regret or not appreciate the fact that God gave me this job because this is the only reason I was able to make it out of that place and it afforded me a lot of opportunities from being able to take care of my mom, being able to take care of myself, being able to get the things that I want to get myself and most importantly being able to you know invest in this channel and I remember that's how I got my first camera because I started working and I remember there was a month where I took out 10k and I was like I'm going to buy my channel and camera i'm doing this and it afforded me a lot of opportunities and you know exposed me to a lot of things and which i'm grateful for but the moment i moved out of home there was a lot of challenges that i did not anticipate for instance covid i think late 2019 everything was going great for me i had enough money i could take care of my mom i had my own place i had met the love of my life everything was going great and at work I had gotten like some unofficial promotion and everything was going great and when COVID happened ma'am it just and I'm sure this is what COVID did to a lot of people I feel like the moment COVID happened my life started happening to me and it's almost like I was having an out-of-body experience listen I was always busy I was always working I was always doing something but never productive I was always tired I couldn't you know do the things that I want to do I couldn't go to the gym either because of excuses or because I'm genuinely tired you know because I'm genuinely exhausted because of the instability that my job provides although it will give you a stable financial life but overall it's not a job that could give you stability at all because the schedules change all the time um, the rules change all the time, the conditions of the job change all the time, the requirements of the job change all the time. It's very hard for me to try and navigate everything. And it, like when I was doing my life audit and I was trying to figure out like how am I gonna get myself out of this and how am I gonna get myself out of this place, it just like all came to me to say, okay, so this is the problem. This is how I got here and this is the solution. And I want you to mark my words. There is no way, there is absolutely no way that you're going through everything that you're going through for the fun of it. There's absolutely no way that everything that is happening to your life and the pain that you're enduring is because of, for the sake, just for vibes never everything that you're going through is going to build and mold you into the greatest person you could never ever even 
comprehend in your head or you could never ever think that God would make you be in case you needed to hear this I don't know who, oh, I don't know who's watching you have a great future ahead of you do not give up on yourself nobody is coming to save you if you don't do it for yourself then what is the whole point like what is the point what is the point of this this whole thing that we're doing called life what is the point if you're not going to pull through for the one person that will always be with you in your life which is you when everybody's gone when everybody's sleeping when everybody is away and you are with you the only person that is there with you and your thoughts is yourself so i don't see no reason why you can't get up and work on that person that you want to be when I decided I'm going to take control of my life and I decided that this is not going to be the life that I'm going to live, I'm not going to be the person that breaks promises to me. So I'm able to honor other people's promises but I can't honor mine to me? That, that makes no sense at all, first of all. That makes no sense whatsoever. If there's one person that I'm going to pull through and pull through for every single time putting my best foot forward is me and once I decided that I started seeing a lot of improvements in my life and although I must say because a lot was already happening in my life when I took that decision it wasn't really a smooth um, transition into the life that I wanted because I was a new mom and there was a whole lot of things that I was navigating at the time I didn't even want to go back to work there was just a lot that was happening at the time but and I told myself I'm not going to stop not for anything and let me tell you baby I'm talking to you today I'm in control of my finances I have lost over 15 kgs I am overall happy in my life and I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh no now everything is smooth sailing of course I have obstacles of course I come across challenges but I promise you I am handling everything better than I would have like I'm not a sad girl anymore that time of my life it's gone that, that part of my life is dead I am confident now I am loving it i love the way that i'm transitioning my style and how i look into womanhood i have positive stress now yes you are going to have stress yes you're going to be stressed out but you decide what you want to stress about what is worth stressing about and what isn't worth stressing about somebody else and what they think of you is something not worth stressing about but you going to the gym and drinking enough water that is something that's worth stressing about you working on your goals and constantly working and putting in the work is something that should be stressing you out and that is positive stress stress that only will bring good results to your life and baby lastly i am happy overall i am happy overall i'm not going to lie it's it's pretty challenging trying to be the best version of you because you constantly come across things that you want to improve but you have to do that with everything else in life and i mean everything you need to take care of your parents you need to text your friends back you need to make sure that your partner is happy and you need to make sure your kids are fine you need to make sure your kids are happy you need to make sure you look good you need to make sure you feel good you need to make sure you drink enough water babes it's a lot okay it's a lot and for you to be able to handle all of that it's going to need you to have an identity shift it's going to need you to boss up it's going to need you to take a decision that this is not going to be the life that I'm going to live and stick to it and make sure that you are who you want to be period now I'm really excited for the next coming videos because I'll be sharing a lot of tips and tricks of how I got here and some of the things that I'm still doing and still incorporating and things that I'm trying out to you know better myself and better my life and of course a lot of beauty tricks um, I'm so excited my next video that I'm working on is how to look irresistibly hot and I'm so excited about this video I've been working on it for a week now and all the tips and tricks of how to look your best self because remember baby if you look good you feel good and if you feel good you do good
in the upcoming videos i'm really excited i have a lot to share with you guys and i hope you guys stay if you haven't subscribed babes what are you doing please subscribe to this channel i promise you're gonna like it here and i think that's it i think i spoke about everything i needed to speak about Oh, and this is like the fifth time that I'm recording this video and I've been planning to record this video with this outfit. I'll post all the clips of the, all the times that I attempted to film this video. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I did it and it came out exactly the way I wanted it to come out. Thank you so, so much guys for watching this video. I truly, truly appreciate it and I'm so excited for the content that is coming up. I hope you guys will be here to join me. I will be committing to a schedule but for now because the the month of jan was quite hectic for me i was working a lot of overtime and i told myself that the year for me is going to start in feb and that is when i'm doing that so that's when i'm going to take a look into how i am going to be posting and what schedule that i'll be following but at the moment i'm planning it on a one one video a week basis and I'm happy with that for now uh, because as much as I want to do a hard comeback I also don't want to like um, you know go hard on myself only to discourage myself if that makes sense thank you so much for watching I love you so much my honeys and I hope to see you on another video um, yeah please comment down below on things you'd like to see on this channel more than anything I like to do content that you guys like to watch because I might as well watch myself then huh yeah so if there's anything that you'd like to see from me or anything you want to know from me um, just comment down below I reply to all my co my comments now and i'm looking forward to hear what you guys think of this video and what you guys have been up to so yeah thank you so much for watching goodbye